This is the main building of the University of Santo Tomas, one of the oldest universities in the Philippines. It was used as an internment camp from non-Filipino hostages during the Second World War. This historical building is recognized as a national treasure and is the first earthquake-resistant building in the country. Its historical and cultural significance, the USD main building is a sight to behold. It is a rectangular building with two interior patios. It was built and designed with 40 separate structures that are independent to one another. The main building's Renaissance Revival architecture is further improved and developed through the years. Look closely at the picture. How many plain and solid figures can you see? Are they similar to each other? Look at the columns. Are they of the same size and equally far from each other? In this chapter, we will learn the geometrical concepts to describe the things around us. We will draw the illustration of different figures and discover the geometry in some objects. Furthermore, we will also discuss the concepts of different solid figures. Good day, children. I'm Teacher Che. Hello, I'm Teacher Eds. And I'm Teacher Wills. Welcome, Welcome to K Math Channel. Before we proceed to our new topic, let us recall our previous lesson. What are the rules in solving more than one arithmetic operation? First, Simplify the operations in grouping symbols. We start from the innermost grouping symbol. Second, evaluate exponential expressions. Third, multiply and divide in the order they appear from left to right. Fourth, add and subtract in the order they appear from left to right. I'm glad you still remember our previous lesson. Good job! Come on, let's get started. Let's see if you can identify the different shapes in this robot. The first shape is a triangle. Second is a circle. Third, fourth, and fifth are rectangles. For the sixth and seventh, squares. Eight and nine are rectangles. And the last two are triangles. Well done, children! In today's lesson, we are going to learn about solid figures. You are expected to visualize and describe the different solid figures prism, pyramid, cylinder, cone, and sphere. Before we begin our lesson, let's try to analyze and answer this. Imagine that we have an aquarium and a wooden box. If we will fill up both of them with water until they become entirely full, which of them will take more amount of water? Yes, you're right! The aquarium will take a greater amount of water as compared to the wooden box. Why? It's because it has more space to hold more amount of water. And these objects are examples of solid figures. This time, children, let us move on to our lesson. Take a look at this figure. Yes, you're right. This is the rectangular box. This is a big box. This is another example of a solid figure. 
This rectangular box consists of parts such as bottom, top, left, right, front, back. How many faces does the box have? Yes, you're right. The box has six faces. In addition, objects in the real world are called three-dimensional. If they have length, width, and height in mathematics, the three-dimensional objects are known as solid figures. A rectangular prism has six faces, eight vertices, and twelve edges. Children, what is prism? A prism is a polyhedron that has two congruent parallel faces called bases. There are many different kinds of prisms. A prism is named according to the shape of its base. For example, a rectangular prism. Rectangular prism composed of two rectangular bases and four rectangular lateral faces. Let's have another example of a solid figure. Pyramid. There are three examples of pyramid. The first one is a triangular pyramid which has three lateral faces. Next, is rectangular pyramid. Rectangular pyramid has four lateral faces. The last one is a square pyramid. A square pyramid has four lateral faces. Children, you have learned solid figures with different number of lateral faces. This time, Let's have the solid figures with curved surfaces. Let's find them out. The first figure with curved surface is cylinder. Cylinder has two circular bases that are congruent and parallel. Example, second, we have the cone. Cone has one circular base. Example, and lastly, we have the sphere. Sphere is a curved surface of points that are all of the same distance from the center. You are now familiar with the different solid figures. Let's see what you have learned. What are the different solid figures? Rectangular prism Pyramids Cylinder Cone Sphere. Well done, children. Now, here are some real life examples of solid figures. What kind of solid figures are they? Number one a gasoline tank. Number two. A refrigerator. Number three, an orange. Number four, a camping tent. Number five, an ice cream cone. These are the correct answers. Good job, children. 
we have reached the end of the lesson. See you next time, children. This, this is the K-Math Channel, saying goodbye.